Hi, welcome to What's Happening here at the Top 5 Stories. At number 1, President Bolotinobu on Monday announced a disaster relief fund in Meduguri, Borno State, to assist people impacted by floods and other disasters. He said the relief fund is already expedient as the climate becomes more unpredictable and many places in the country are vulnerable to these vagaries. Tinubu announced this at the Borino government house when he visited the state to sympathize with the government and people over the recent flooding from Alau Dam. The special advisor to the president on information and strategy, Bayo Onanuga, who disclosed this in a statement, said that Tinubu urged the private sector to contribute to the fund. At number two, the Ogun State Traffic Compliance and Enforcement Agency has confirmed the death of 18 passengers in the Owere area of Ijebu East local government along the Ijebu De Ore Expressway. The accident involved a Toyota Hayas with registration number XA690AKU, where the passengers burnt beyond recognition, while one other sustained injury. The public relations officer of the state-owned traffic agency, Babatunde Akimbi, confirmed this in a statement in Abiyokuta, the state capital. According to him, the lone accident was caused by an inferno from petrol stored in a jerry can inside the vehicle. While admonishing drivers to disease from storing fuel in jerry cans to avoid situations like this, the public relations officer commiserated with the families of the diseased. At number three, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, the first woman and first African to head the World Trade Organization, will seek a second four year term when her mandate expires next August, her spokesman Ismaila Deng reported. Her current term at the helm of the 166 member WTO ends in August 2025. Her decision to seek another term was officially communicated to the World Trade Organization Chair, Norwegian Ambassador Peter Oberg on Monday. The WTO's African group formally requested that she make herself available for a second term and proposed that the process to re-nominate her should begin as soon as possible. At number four, officials in Texas on Monday designated a Venezuelan gang called the Train de Aragua as a foreign terrorist group and endorsed Donald Trump's claim that many migrants crossing into the United States were released from prisons in Latin America. The Train de Aragua is an international criminal organization that operates in several Latin American countries and engages in extortion homicide, drug trafficking, and smuggling of people. Following the political and economic crisis in Venezuela, many people from that country are allowed to enter the United States and apply for asylum. But Texas top border official Mike Banks argued that Venezuela has released prisoners with one condition, you leave Venezuela and then come back. At number five, Saudi international striker Fahad Al Mowalad had been has been placed in intensive care after plummeting off the balcony of his residence in Dubai. Emirati authorities said Sunday. The 30-year-old who played in the 2018 World Cup but was withdrawn from the 2022 squad due to a doping ban fell from his second-story flat while on holiday in the Emirati, according to Dubai government media office. The Saudi consulate in Dubai confirmed in a statement on X that it was informed of an accident at Mowalad's private residence on Thursday. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.